And now I am starting the system. You can see it is accelerating. Today I am going to explain you the principle of the overunity generator. The system is made of two motors connected together both mechanical way and electrical way. One motor works simply as a motor and the other one works as a generator. Because of the energy losses this system would stop quickly, but I found the effective way to compensate them. The voltage rating of the generator has to be slightly higher then the one of the motor. My generator is rated 240 volts and my motor is rated 220 volts. And this little over voltage is enough to compensate the electrical and mechanical losses. You also have to compensate the induction nature of the motors using the parallel capacitor. Such a capacitor is nothing special. And now I am starting the system. You can see it is accelerating. And now at the full RPM. I just edit a load to show the over unit effect. I am measuring the output voltage. Now you probably ask why the output voltage is so close to the nominal line voltage. This is because of the self-stabilizing effect of those motors. The motors are designed so that their iron cores are just below the point of saturation at their nominal voltage. After the startup, the voltage is rising until reaching the point of saturation. Above the point of saturation, the efficiency of the motor is rapidly decreasing so that the voltage cannot go higher in the self-running system. It would be no longer over unity. Please never try this at home. The system is generating very dangerous voltage. It can kill you.